First at 11 changes are coming for some Centerville Elementary and Middle School students. The district is moving some students to new buildings to address overcrowding issues. Two News reporter Allison Gans live in the studio with us on how this will impact families in the district. Allison. The Centerville City School Superintendent says the district takes a look at enrollment each year, and this change isn't a sudden decision as they've been keeping an eye on overcrowding for a while. Each spring, Centerville City Schools takes a look at what their enrollment might be for the next school year. We did know that in, in some areas of our district, uh, some of our buildings were getting, you know, more crowded and, and kind of approaching capacity. Superintendent Tom Henderson says the district aims to keep the student to teacher ratio no more than 24 to 1 for elementary and middle school. But some buildings are approaching upwards of 30 students per classroom. If you can keep your class sizes a little bit smaller and provide a little bit more personal attention on an individual level, that's always a good thing. To address the overcrowding starting next year, some students at John Hole Elementary will move to Normandy Elementary. Elementary, and some students at MagSig Middle School will move to Tower Heights Middle School. The decision on which students move is based on the neighborhoods they live in. All families affected have been notified by the district. We think that um, by making these adjustments that it's going to continue to keep us in a, in a good way, you know, doing the right things for kids and making sure that our instruction is top notch and and uh, keeping our class size reasonable. It's been over 15 years since the district has made changes to attendance areas. Henderson says this decision will provide some immediate relief to the district, but the biggest impact will be in the long term. It kind of sets us up for success for future years because over time we will move more students in a, in a gradual um, methodology over the next several years, and that, that's really what we're after. Henderson says parents are welcome to contact the district if they have any questions or concerns. In the studio, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.